So Tony, I'm starting a new series asking people what their favorite books are, what their recommendations are for entrepreneurs. And as a best-selling author, when you see that people are struggling with things that are outside their control, I wonder what your advice would be and what kind of books you'd recommend people to read. What can you do You know, when things are, seem to be outside your control? I, the biggest thing I've always tried to show people is you become indispensable by constantly finding a way to add more value wherever you are in your life, to your family, to your friends, but it's certainly in business. That's the competitive advantage. And so if you work for somebody else, you have a job or your own company, being indispensable is everything. And I, I read a book recently by Seth Gooden uh, that really is, it's called Lynchpin. And I'm a big fan of Seth. So he's a friend of mine. He's just, he's, a, he's very poetic and he's brilliant and he takes complex things that makes them very simple, but writes them in a very inspiring way. So uh, I'd show you his book right now, but these days I read on my iPad. So um, I'd really go pick up his book. I think it's really tiny. You could read it really quick. And I think it'd give you some, some really nice insights. And then one of the book I'd just like to recommend to you, uh, I mean, Fee just have a little bit of time here, uh, is called The Happiness Hypothesis uh, by Jonathan Haidt. And uh, I'm probably mispronouncing his name. I hope I'm not. But uh, it's a book I read when it first came out several years ago. But it's one of the best books I've read to show you the scientific understanding of how you really experience a life of fulfillment. Because as things get more difficult, the old style of being happy that so many people used of, you know, let me just get what I want, we all know that doesn't work. But it becomes more obvious when the economy contracts. And I just, one of my missions is to make sure people are really truly fulfilled in their lives and that they, I believe that happens by contribution, by relationships, by making a difference, by having your life have meaning beyond yourself. And yes, you can get your toys, and I've had the privilege of doing that, but it never fills anybody up. This book, rather me tell you that in a few words or some silly little quote, uh, I think it'll give you some stuff that's real food for thought. It'll move you and it'll kind of give you a little pathway to see what are the real ways to have lasting happiness and fulfillment. So just thought I'd recommend those two books to you. I hope you find them really useful. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'd love to know if you've read either of those two books and what you think of them, as well as the idea for this new series that I'm thinking about showcasing famous entrepreneurs and their favorite books that hopefully rub a little bit of book knowledge and magic off on you guys. Let me know if you think this series should continue and be extended. Leave it in the comments below. I'll join the discussion. Thank you guys so much for watching. Continue to believe, and I'll see you soon.